for Port Stephens. It's the regatta weekend. We're with uh, Paul Westlake and he's on board Marcus Blackwell's new uh, addition to his fleet. Uh, it's a new hooligan. So, uh, Paul, tell us all about it, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, uh, Jeff. Yeah, well, this is uh, Marcus's uh, latest uh, purchase. This is a uh, 2015 model uh, TP52 was the Azura. Um, I'm sure many of the watchers know exactly who Azura is. They, uh, you know, they dominate uh, one of the top, top teams in the Super Series, won the last season and um, are jumping into a new boat at the moment, which uh, just got launched last week. So Marcus took the opportunity to purchase this boat, bring it down to Australia and, um, you know, do some IRC, fun IRC racing with it. So really the, the systems on this boat and the boat that we're standing on here was state of the art in 2015 and then obviously with some few modifications through the course of the season, the three seasons as we all did. Now within the Super Series uh, there's nine new boats being launched so it's going through that three year redevelopment again. But this boat is still, the systems and the way this boat's set up is state of the art for the fleet. Mate that's great news isn't it because all that good gear is coming back into this fleet here in Australia. So it's, it's building up as far as the, uh, the fleet here is concerned and uh, sailing here is getting very competitive. Yeah absolutely, you know IRC is still the benchmark, benchmark in Australia um, as far as the kind of um, high performance uh, rating rule is concerned and bringing a boat like this into Australia um, you know sends a really strong message I think uh, to the industry to um, you know owners and competitors alike that uh, you know to have a flagship sort of program like this uh, you know an Azura coming to Australia as Marcus did uh, five years ago I think it was when he uh, purchased Team New Zealand bought Team New Zealand right. and then Rob Hanna bought Azura and uh, another Azura and he right. bought that down and called it Shogun you know I mean it's um it's a great opportunity to bring these boats out of the super series kind of spec bring them down here and race some IRC well, you see in the uh, Hobart race, there's something like 952, <laughs> yeah. isn't there, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, the, the boats can do it. You know, I hear, uh, I have, you know, we often hear comments, oh, but it's built to, you know, med conditions. I can assure you, we race these boats in 25 knots and big waves, and structurally, absolutely, they can deal with anything you throw at them. But obviously, they need a little bit extra waterproofing. <laughs> Indeed. We're talking about waterproofing by standing on the boat here, so let's go through and, and you can show us around. Yeah, well, why don't we go up to the bow here, Jeff? Indeed. All right, now what are we talking about here? Yeah, well, up at the pointy end here, obviously uh, bow sprit just with, uh, with uh, one tack line. We don't have the ability to peel. If we need to peel for some reason, we just go and uh, clip onto that little uh, the soft, hang the soft loop out the front, but basically uh, no double lines. Coming through to the uh, the head stay here, single foil, gorilla foil. Once again, we mm -hmm. have no ability to change jibs. The jib you have up is the jib you have up. <laughs> <laughs> Adjustable uh, head stay down to a uh, hydraulic ram, so we can adjust the uh, the rake for the balance of the boat. We'll yep. talk about that a little bit later. You know, normal tack Cunningham for the jib jib luff tension, and then we just have uh, one jib. One jib halyard. One halyard. Yeah, one halyard on a, uh, a rotating uh, lock, and then uh, spinnaker halyard. We have two spinnaker halyards, but uh, the red one is the only one we use. The green one is just an emergency, and it's up the rig on a um, on a mouse line for windage. Uh -huh. Moving back. Yeah. We have uh, this is the staysail, furler uh, furler below deck, controlled yep. by the pitman, oh, so no windage keeping the weight low. Excellent. Four hatch is uh, set up so the staysail can actually be connected, connected to the, uh, the tack can be connected to the furling point there um, and it can, the hatch can be closed and it's just enough clearance for the uh, staysail to be snaked onto deck. Uh -huh. So as soon as we come around the top mark, drop the jib, jib halyard onto the uh, staysail straight up straight in the air but trying to keep the boat as waterproof as we can even in this short course racing sure because uh the secret to these boats is keep them as light as you possibly can so we're trying to keep every milliliter of water out and every gram of weight out excellent southern sparse rig not much to see you can shine your camera up there but uh 
Uh, TPT technology, ultra high modulus, carbon fibre rig with carbon rigging. So the full Southern Spars package, uh, Southern Spars uh, supply the whole fleet. Yeah. Now they're just the, they're the uh, only place to go for rigs for this class. Once again, waterproofing, very important. The thing about this waterproofing is that we actually have uh, movement at the deck, at the deck collar with the mast sure. to be able to control it. So you need enough, uh, you need enough movement there so um, it still seals. Soft boom bang. Oh, uh, yeah. the, the TP52 rule, the Super Series rule, actually requires us to have the ability for, um, to support the boom. Mm -hmm. So this is just a carbon, uh, carbon fibre compression tube, which literally we only ever use it when we're hooking the mainsail up. <laughs> it's one of those funky rules. Um, I'm sure some uh, listeners and uh, viewers of this will say, well, why do you have that? Why isn't it just soft? It's part of the TP52 rule. Really? Honestly, Marcus, we could take this off under IRC, uh, but the bang control is down below, comes up through this soft, uh, sure. soft spike. Uh, instruments, here we go, come around here. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Instruments are the latest uh, Garmin displays. You can see there's a uh, mass of numbers, uh, mass of numbers there, but we use them all the time. Starting at the top, we have boat speed, target boat speed, true wind angle, target true wind angle, heel, apparent wind angle, true wind direction, distance to port and distance to starboard ley lines. So the crew, especially the pitman, knows um, where we are and the geometry of the race course. Yeah. And we go uh, wind speed, car shooting positions in degrees, 4.4, 3.4. Compass, what every sailor needs to yeah. know what's going on. Know where you're going, of course, it helps, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, these are two functions that we play around with. This is actually a uh, cap tension and a, uh, a rake kind of uh, a gyro, gyro rake and control of the um, the pitch of the boat. So you've got uh, your sensors all over the boat, have you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, that makes it easy, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, well. If you can, uh, if you can uh, d deal with so many numbers, yeah, you've got to be careful. <laughs> Otherwise, it's information in and information out. That's right, yeah. Uh, control lines here for the pitman, very simple. This is the, uh, the furler control for the staysail. Uh -huh. So yeah. the pitman controls that here. And then we just have the normal, uh, normal deal, the tack line, starboard spinnaker, which I said is always just up the top of the mast. You hope you never use it. Yeah. Port spinnaker, jib. Uh, and jib, you know, jib goes on to a lock, but, but this jam is rated. If for some reason you can't get the sail on the lock, you can sail at about 70 to 80 percent load just on the halyard until we can get it on the lock. So it goes lock yeah. yeah, so one tiny little uh, pit winch, that's all you need. So then uh, these are just uh, controls for that's the uh, jib lock, yeah. open and close. So that's open it, close it. And then uh, basically these are the little, what the boys call the dick, open and close the dick, which is a little extension on the uh, bowsprit to stop the spinnaker sheet um, falling in the water. Right.